Hello everyone. We've just had to get up and moving quite quickly. These cheetah that were with there are five of them have just started rushing towards a herd of wildebeest. And you just never know what's going to happen. They were scent marking on a tree initially. And then we've just seen some and they're all trotting alongside us. How awesome is this? Heading straight towards a herd of wildebeest. You couldn't have joined us at a better time. They have just changed gears without any warning and they are very steadily approaching what looks to be a couple of hundred wildebeest all dotted out about 10 seconds ahead of them now i'm going to keep moving alongside them like this so that we don't get left in their dust and this is about to get serious we're about to start seeing this coalition of five cheetahs start working this herd of wildebeest like a pack of wolves the way they hunt them after dark like this or at dusk is something to behold now we're using a special low light camera so it appears a lot brighter than it actually is now i can only just faintly make the wildebeest out in front of us let's stop here there's some ahead of us here, Manu. Maybe stay on these front ones. Just not, just a little bit left there, in front of that bush. There we go. Now, we're in a bit of a tricky situation. I don't know if we should quickly switch over to infrared, Manu, if you think that is a good idea. Tricky one. We do have an infrared light. There we go. So this is going to be, I think, a lot easier for us to follow the action. Look at how awesome this is back its partners asking for help let's stay on the front one Manu you can hear the wildebeest snorting they've noticed these cheetah but they are not fleeing just yet and it's only when they start running that the action unfolds welcome to everyone who has just jumped on board this live safari it is wonderful to have you with us we are following five cheetah, and they are surrounded by migrating herds of wildebeest. We are in the Maasai Mara in Kenya, and we are about to see some epic, epic action. These five cheetahs have become experts at hunting wildebeest, and we've been lucky enough to follow them at dusk or after dark, just like now, on a number of occasions. And what they're likely to do is start working this herd of wildebeest just like a pack of wolves running in and amongst them creating chaos until finally they can single out a youngster and then make their move it's incredibly tricky work for us to work out or at least Manu who's on camera to work out which cheetah to film when there is so much action unfolding so he is going to be darting between all of them to make sure that we do not miss out there they go already this is why Manu has to keep switching over Stay wide. Let's see what happens here. How awesome is this now? What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep following them. We need to get closer. You try to stay as wide and as, as many as you can. Perfect. Just like that, Manu. Good work. Woo -hoo. This is so exciting. We spend many, many hours out with these animals waiting for moments like this to happen. And you guys are in for a treat I just need to make sure I don't drive us into a hole as we move along I'll use my headlights sparingly as and when need be okay I think we're in a decent spot here hello to Cheryl you've just sent through your comments saying how much you love watching these five boys and me too they are quick becoming my favorite African predator to follow and they are certainly showcasing how epic cheetah can and are or can be and are but the fact that we are lucky enough to have just five of these guys together it's rare to have a coalition coalition this large Hello Betty, you'd like to know why these wildebeest are not panicking and I guess 
it's too soon to panic for them it's not quite dark yet they can still see a little bit and they know that fleeing into the unknown is just as dangerous as kind of keeping an eye on your possible threat so I guess that's the theory that they're employing the fact that there's nice short open grass means they can keep a good eye on them so they know where the threat is coming from and who knows maybe they've just been a little bit dazed by all the action that is attracted to the migration the amount of wildebeest that they must see die as they move along this treacherous journey is quite something and I'm told a lot of you guys are cheering on these cheetah so am I I'm not sure when they last fed we were lucky enough to see them catch and kill a young wildebeest I think it was three days ago early one morning we got incredibly lucky and since then I'm not sure if they've had any luck judging by their bellies I don't think they have so they may not have eaten in quite some time maybe I'm wrong they may have been successful in making kills that have simply been stolen by lion and hyena so it's not that they wouldn't have been successful simply they may just not not have had any luck keeping their prey to themselves how beautiful is that with the clouds out to the east what an epic epic evening now I'm surprised they haven't started working the herds as I would have expected them to just yet but the nights are still young what they usually start doing just like we saw it kind of do is they start all running in Alan and you would like to know if they would target out a specific wildebeest well yes eventually one of them would find a youngster possibly two or three of them could actually get lucky in one hunt if they all target and find a youngster that's worth following they will follow each one individually so once they've kind of singled one out I guess others may jump on board but interestingly these guys have got so much faith in their partners that once they see that one or two of them are hot on the trail of a wildebeest the others kind of lag behind just backing them to do the job for them so I've been quite surprised by that okay so obviously no tasty wildebeest in these initial herds but there's a lot more in this area so let's just keep an eye on what's going on here you can see a gentle glow of eyes in the distance as let me just stop here we'll get some great shots as they walk past these guys listen to this noise all the wildebeest calling hooves rolling there's a bit of a breeze picking up it was a dead still evening and that will create further chaos and confusion once full darkness sets in which I would guess would be in about 10 minutes or so to 15 minutes it's going to be pitch black and I think that is what these cheats are waiting for they can simply create more of a frenzy making it easier for them to single one out Whew. wonderful wonderful stuff we got really lucky finding these guys this afternoon they move huge huge distances from where they we saw them three days ago Oof, when they start running like that my heart starts racing mine was doing a great job on just keeping on all five of them like I said it is important that we know where all of them are as one may decide to charge forward at any stage Hello VT, you'd like to know if cheetah can 
see well at night or do they smell their prey? Well, in a situation like this, I think it's going to be entirely sight and audio. I mean, you can hear the cacophony of these gnus all around us. So the combination of, of sight and hearing mainly, but smell in, in different situations may definitely assist them trying to locate prey when prey is more sparse. But in these open areas, these cheats are going to have absolutely no problem seeing who's who after dark. Okay, good, good. Well, I wonder when they're going to make their move, everyone, as I'm sure a lot of you are wondering. But their body language suggests that they are certainly going to do the necessary business tonight in order to get their next meal. I'm feeling very, very confident. Even when we met them earlier this afternoon, they were looking quite perky. And having spent the last two months following these guys quite closely, it's been very interesting to get to start reading into their body language and their behavior, their, their state of hunger. And at the moment, everything is looking very, very favorable for what could be a wonderful after dark hunting experience. I will warn you in advance, if you have yet to join in on one of these, it can be absolute chaos, not knowing where to film and where to drive, but it is certainly awesome. And those clouds are making for an incredibly dramatic scene that we can be grateful for as well. Here they go. They are looking more and more focus now as it begins to get dark. Like I said about five minutes ago, it wasn't completely dark, but it's just about getting there now. So don't be fooled by this fancy infrared camera. It is almost pitch, pitch black.